My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. Here on this charming island that I'll build... It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. Here, thanks so much for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this an I and make this a land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. <laughs> so, okay, so I did go uh, masculine awesome. Well, you thanks so much for the thousand bits. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. You never tell a child that! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think that you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead. Which isn't great. I mean, that, I mean, that isn't great at all. Like, being dead is not that great. <laughs> More to the point, it means that I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafter. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Dearly departed, Oswald. I, that's depressing. Then we just start off as like, yeah, 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 uncle, go, uncle. He's dead. <laughs> Oops. Also, the hints of Uncle Oswald, yeah, he does look kind of hot. But if we're playing his niece, that's kind of weird. Moving on. Okay, new letter. Sylvia. Oh, so this is... Okay, this is not, uh, this is not Uncle Oswald. Okay. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation. Of your relation? Of your relation? <laughs> Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope this inheritance offered some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Is that her? Sylvia? Oh. Uh, so this place is a little uh, infested. Uh, this is not good. We have to clean up now. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, if you would have a potion shop in the world of fiction, what type of potion would you make for them? Oh, plenty, plenty of potions. There's always a need for potions of any kind for any situation. Okay, this place is not all I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Oh, hello. Forgive me the intrusion. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helen, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Uh, thanks. I- but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it is a pity. Particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. All his- as his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls... to you. Wait, really? I didn't know that's how that worked. But... I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. <laughs> Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of a million gold now? <laughs> what? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. B <laughs> That's so much gold! You could buy five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it by judge to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is... very fine. What, what did you do? <laughs> what did you just- Thank you, Sylvia. What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations to you. 
make your payments on time, and the shop is yours. <laughs> Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property. And will be legally uh, obligated to work for us until such a time we deem your debt repaid. That sounds... bad. <laughs> I'm confident you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. Uh, sure. Oh, okay, so this is where the thing- Oh, god! <laughs> attempt! <laughs> attempt to raise her interest in the- Sure, we're gonna attempt. It's a potion! Oh, wait, you knew that. Okay, so we have a patience meter. Impatience, customer buff. Customer loses one patience this turn. This value increases by one after every turn. Cannot be removed. Minimally interest. Raise the customer's interest to fill the bar to increase the selling price. Okay. Stress. Uh, the current odds of drawing a stress card whenever a card is drawn. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, then we have a deck. Okay, so the, yeah, this is deck in the graveyard. Okay, cool. Uh, flail. <laughs> flail in your attempt to raise your interest in the potion. <laughs> it's, uh, pretty good. Probably. Um, blunder. <laughs> blunder, oh no. I think you like it. Wait, no. Um, I guess we're ending turn. Customer's turn. Hmm. Hmm. This stress is getting to me! <laughs> stress. Oh my god, sweet- Oh my god, sweetheart, panic! <laughs> if in hand at the end of turn increases stress by 20 Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Uh, uh okay. So we, we can't use them? They literally- Oh my god, that's- that's rough. Um- Oh! I'm too stressed to function. <laughs> oh god! Oh! Freya, why do I think you can voice Sylvia so well? Why do I think you can do that so- You can do Sylvia so freaking well. <laughs> well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You'll- You have a full ten days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course, this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? Oh, shit! <laughs> or- Oh, fuck! Huh? Ow! My hip! <laughs> what? Uh, I, I mean... Uh, hoot hoot? <laughs> <laughs> what? I heard that! You... You can talk! Well, I... Well, of course I can talk! You must be new here. This is Rafter. Where the strange is commonplace and... Uh, and the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I would live here, actually. If you can call it living. It is scraps. Hiding in the shadows. You live here in the shop. I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh! Uh, he, he, did he never mention me? How strange. Uh, perhaps he was uh, just so embarrassed to admit how... Integral! I was to his shop. Totally. Totally! Absolutely talking owl. <laughs> yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Owl. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl. It was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that! I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you into the ends of the globe! I miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle, until you've worked off your debt! There's no way I can make enough by selling potions! Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time! There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see? The initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. Wait, is that the first payment or is that the first? Because if that's a total winning prize, is that the first payment? Because that pays off the debt right then and there. But is it the chance to win? Oh, so wait. If we enter and it's a chance to win 10,000 and the total winning okay that makes that makes perfect sense. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. 
win the first competition and you'll automatically qualify for the next one. But which the prizes will be even better! And just look at that juicy grand prize! Win all five competitions and you'll have the money you'll need to get that debt collector off your back for good! You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. <laughs> well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win these competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics and roll credits. Ooh, boy. <laughs> this Owl is just like, I'm so done. Pay attention to what your customers are thinking. It'll be their next move against you. Gotcha. Okay, I guess we're, we're just starting. Yeah, I think this owl... Do you smell that owl? Like, th this owl... This owl, I think, is Oswald. I think this owl is Oswald, to be fully honest. It just It's too convenient that we don't even hear a word about this fucking bird in any sort of letter from our uncle. And then all of a sudden, this bird's like, Oh, he didn't mention me. You're probably a talking goddamn owl! <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefits of a daily health potion used in the shortening of the body's is shoring, shoring? Shoring of the bottle's na body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. Okay. I see you cleaned up the place a bit. Nicely done. Now, the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Okay. Let's head over the cauldron and get brewing. Oh, okay. By the way, this is adorable as fuck. Uh, brew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know where you're, your way around a cauldron. You went to school for this, after all. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me! The regulations are intense! I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions! See? I got the first jam when I graduated. To get the next one, I had to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew! I'd better go over my notes from college, just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magibins. It's like vitamins? Vitamins? Magimins? Ah, yes! The mighty Magimin! <laughs> Where would we be without it? Uh, dead on the floor, I guess. <laughs> Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find Magimins. Magical creatures, mystical plants, even the rocks of this supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating and ingredients releases the Magimins contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought as, as of as a specific combination of magimins. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimins they contain will determine what kind of potion is brewed. Ratios are important too. I <laughs> tell that to Twitter. If your balance of magimins is out of whack, the resulting potion will be mm, less valuable. That sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, one step at a time. Gotta put ingredients into a cauldron to make a potion. I can't go wrong with health potions. And I have that recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimins. Some fae berries and mandrake root should do the trick. Okay, so I just... Boop. Oh! Okay, fortifies your hero's health by five. Balance is too unstable. Okay, so... Is it... Okay. That works. Yeah? What happens... Can I just... Blink them. Oh, it, ah, okay. So the more ingredients, the more potent it is, the more price will increase. Okay, and that's everything we need. Let's get the lid on this and set it to brew. Okay, to brew. All right, nothing left to do here but to let it cook. Uh, oh, okay, cool. All right. The higher the magma, the more likely the potions are of higher quality. Okay, good to know. Your potions should be ready in the afternoon. Okay. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Uh, okay. That's, that's great. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Okay. Oh! Lovely, thank you. Arrange, arrange potions. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be a good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Okay. So... Okay, 
get 24? That's not bad. <clears throat> That's not bad. No bonuses. Oh, so each shelf has a bonus, I'm assuming? Okay. Good. Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but they can't- we can invest in some better ones later. Okay. So far, this is kind of like very easy to kind of comprehend and get through. We're finally going to open the store. Let's sell some potions. Okay. Nine days until competition. Okay. All right. So I, I just got to keep that in mind. Okay. So I'm assuming this is how much time we have. So I, it absorbs two and it'll go into the afternoon. Okay. I'm assuming this is morning, afternoon, and night. Okay. So I'm guessing two, one, two, but to go into the afternoon. That probably makes sense. All right. Let's see what we can do. All right. Okay. Hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling. The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they will pay. But keep a close watch on your, on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Ah, here goes one now! You've got this! Uh, okay. And no one believes me, but I swear I saw a dragon yesterday! I love it! Let's talk money! <laughs> what now? <laughs> what? I should start by setting up a pitch. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so we have some... Okay. Set them up. Uh, raise interest by four. If opener, apply, set them up. Okay. Um, opener trigger. This card has the ability of which I activate only if you played first from your hand. Increase the interest applied by reel them in by 20. Okay, so let's re let's set them up. You've made an excellent selection. Wow, nice. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. Okay. Raise interest by eight, which makes sense. And I'm assuming increases it increases interest applied by reel them in by 20%. Okay, so 20. Reel them in. Uh, one of my finest potions. I see what you're getting at. Ah, uh, that's all I have for now. Gotta brace myself for their turn. Okay, so... Gain two shield. Blocks a set amount of stress equal to its current value. Shield is removed when brought down to zero. Removed at the start of Sylvia's turn. Got it. Okay. Water off his drink's back! Okay. Let's see what the customer has to say. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap! I probably deserve that. But no stress gain. Okay. Good thing I had my guard up, otherwise I'd be stressed! I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. Okay. And close it out. Well, I probably could do more. Well, you probably... Okay, I guess you just want this tutorial. Alright, close it out. Do we have a deal? I'm sort of feeling it, yeah! I can't wait to try it! Bye! Enjoy that! Thanks, come again! Can I help you? Your displays look no so nice today. Thank you! This one looks nice. What are you asking for? Okay. Okay, so this one lets me go on my own. Okay, so... Um, I don't have the ability to set them up, but I can reel it in and brace myself. Because I want to try and raise this above 24. So let's go ahead and reel it in. There's no better potion for you. I'm warming up to it. Okay, let's go ahead and brace myself. Ready for anything. Okay, so negative two patience. Okay, so this is the patience meter, so I'm going to get to six. Okay. All right. Oh, no, I think I love my kill moan. I can see you're in a hurry. Okay. Very good. Okay. So one, so I have six. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. You made an excellent selection. Uh, let's go ahead and reel them in. Very good. Draw one card. I think I can risk it. Need a different approach. All right, let's close it out. Yep, raise interest and close it out. I think that'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do we have a deal? You're pretty good at this. You're the best. Thank you. That's a good sale. I think that was a really good sale. I think we're good. Have a nice day! A step right up. I can't believe people get up this early. <laughs> oh, I know so many people like this in the mornings. <laughs> I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so very low patience. Um, but looks like we're, I don't want to close it out just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and brace myself. Gonna end turn. I need to get back to my shop and jack up all my prices. <laughs> Some things can't be rushed. Fair enough. Okay. 
Okay, so we, this was a good one. So go ahead and set them up. Very good. Let's go ahead and reel them in. Ooh, that's a risk. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Okay. Okay. I'll just I'll close the deal. Like I think because I got one patient left. Let's close the deal. Yeah. No refunds. All right then. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's all of them for now. That didn't go so badly. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving. But if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move is to make the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Oh, learn something new. A scheme. Ooh, draw three cards. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I look forward to seeing it in action. But that's enough of a break for now. And that was a break? Come on now, back to work. <laughs> okay. But we made, yeah, we made $97. Yay. These health potions should be done brewing. Let's take a look. Okay. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our potions real quick. Loving up your heroes. Okay. <laughs> the health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. Okay, bottle. Awesome. Oh, nice. 39 start. Superb brew. Okay, we got two of them. Perfect. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more while for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. Never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimens. I think I have the proper ingredients sliding around. Oh, wonderful. That's great. The fire has a face, right? It's so cute. Look at that fire. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. That's so cute. Look at the cute little face. That's so cute. Oh, my God. Four star brew. Let's go. All right. So it wants me to use yellow and... Okay, so... Okay, that's that's easy enough. All right, perfect. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat and speed up the process. Fuel. When added to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Look at how cute we're feeding the fire. That's so sweet. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. I think there's a little by the little bit of hay left. Let's go ahead and feed it to the fire. Okay. We can go ahead and do that. All right. Oop. Nom, 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 nom. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and brew it. Great. Now we can open shop for the afternoon and sell the health potion you brew this morning. Okay. That, uh, okay, that, that's fine. Does it mean that the cauldron is like a weird little hat? Yes, it's like Howl's Moving Castle. I love it. <coughs> Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding a new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers to pay for you more money. Okay, deck builder, of course, because we have to build our deck. Here are your cards on this page. There's our haggling skills that you begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tip I taught you. Uh, sure. Here we go. Recognize that one? The new haggling techniques will appear as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you will need to have space for them. Mouse over to any card deck and place the minus button to remove it. You'll be able to click on the card to add it to your deck. Okay. So, oh, so I only have 20. Um, so let's go ahead and... Um... Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and remove one and then add this. Okay. Is there a way I can add more? So... Okay. Okay, so I can have two of them. Perfect. Yeah, save deck. Perfect. That works for me. Alright. So let me go ahead and range these potions and sell them. At 39 a pop. Let, let's go. We're starting at 39. Okay, can we haggle up from there? Let's find out. So let's open up shop and see what happens. Okay. Whee! Let's do these. I had a dream this place was condemned. Lamau! <laughs> what the fuck? How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a setup. You made an excellent selection. We definitely have to think about it if we can. Come on. Alright, let's brace ourselves. Cool. And end turn. I need to get back to my shop and jack up all my prices. <laughs> That's just rough. Alright. Okay. Set them up, reel them in. Ooh. 
I'm already got this, so I can probably do a real amend now. Yeah? Okay. I think... I'll just do a set up and I'll end the deal. Yeah. So... Okay, and I'll close the deal. Deal? Uh, alright then. It's so close by one coin! It's alright then. Thanks for your business! Uh, come on up! This town has really grown fast! Make me an offer I can't refuse! Will do, passionate artisan! Okay, wonderful. So let's go ahead and... You ha you have a good amount of patience, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and set you up. Give me an excellent selection. Let's go ahead and reel you in a little bit. Very good. Let's let's think a little bit. Ugh, come, one more. Gotta keep thinking. Come on! Uh, ooh, yeah, he's kind of mad stressed. Let's see. Customer is going to increase the stress. Yeah, ooh, okay. That's gonna be very interesting. Okay. I'm gonna push it. Okay, yeah, it wouldn't even do much to increase. And I kind of want to close this deal because he's going to hit. Because I'm like, do I risk it? It's a good fare. It, it, like, it's a good jump. 20% um, upcharge. Can I push it? Let's see if I can push it and then I'll close the deal and see if I can push it. Because I don't want to end the turn. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so that did nothing, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and just close that deal. Done. What a pleasant outcome. Wonderful. Great. Thanks for your business. That's all of them for now. All right. So that's not that's not bad that you kind of can play around and kind of like fiddle with it. Um, nice job. Now, don't forget those mana potions. Okay. There's still time to sell them before the day's over. That would be great if we could. Let's bottle them up. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get those potions then. Awesome. Bottle these up. Love it! Yes! 32, very nice. Superb brew. Perfect. Great, now we can sell these at the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time, we'll kick it up a notch. I've got some ingredients stashed away for our rainy day that will push our potions to the next tier. Okay! Interesting, okay. Drop these in and make some real potions. Okay, sure, we can do that. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and pop these in. Oh my god. The standard. Oh my god, the standard. Let's go. Okay, so that's already a perfect balance. Um, and we'll make a common potion. Okay, so let's brew it. Yeah. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit into one last haggling session. Okay, sounds good. Sure, let's do it. Oh, the, 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 the designs are really, really cute. The designs are absolutely adorable in this game. Um, so let's go ahead and arrange those potions out. Make the sale. 32, so 32 will get it to better than 32. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Let's figure this out. Your display still looks so nice today! This one looks nice. What are you asking for it? Okay. Okay! Friendly, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and set you up. She has a good one. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and reel them in if we can. Very good. And let's scheme a little bit, see if we can add a little more oomph. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and do one reel them in, and then we'll end the turn. Hmm. Because I don't think this gives the buff. This won't give our buff. Yeah, because it's not an opener anymore. So... Yeah, so... Yeah, this won't do its effect. Because uh, it's not an opener anymore. Um, let's go ahead and reel it in. Then end the turn and see the damage. Because I'm sure we can do a little bit of work. But at least it'll, it'll, do, it'll be more interested. So let's go ahead and reel it in. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and end the turn and take the damage. It's fine. I feel like, I feel like you really get people like it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, there's a little stress. It's fine. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's reload it one more time. Raise it by seven. That won't be enough to do much of anything, so we could just close it. But, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Wait. Yeah, let's go ahead and just close it out. Yeah, let's, let's close it out. So, what do you say? All right, 42%. That's not bad. You're the best. Thank you. Come back soon. Next in line. I waved to you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. <laughs> Bro, I'm so sorry. I have my doubts, but I thought at least asking about this one. All right. Really? Truly, we're setting this up? Three set them up? Seriously? All right. You made an excellent selection. Alright, so then I guess we'll just do another one. Yeah, I'll do one more. Okay. We'll go ahead and just end the turn so we can, because we need to keep going. Alright. Because artistry is dead. Uh, I can bear to fleece you. Alright. Oof. Yeah, I need to scheme. Give me something. Uh, really? This is a really bad hand? Oh my god, this is a terrible hand. Uh, maybe give me one more. Just give me another. Uh, really? Truly? That is a terrible hand. That is. Uh, close it out. Yeah, close it out. It's better than nothing. Alright then. It's better than nothing. Ugh, a terrible hand. Thanks, come again! That's all of them for now. Ugh, that is a sign! That is a terrible hand! <laughs> I think I could get the hang of all this. Hmm? Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Uh, sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. Uh, you didn't clean up that weird-looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I just inherited this place. Huh? Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions wish. As it happens, I got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Sure, fuck it, why not? Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me. Quinn. Oh, hello, Quinn. Okay, cool. I can call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Okay, raise this interest at eight at the start of the customer's turn. Interesting. That is rather neat. That is nifty. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. I look forward to doing business. I'm excited to get to know you. I'm excited to get to know this character. Like, who are they? It's not just business. Like, I'm excited to actually learn about them. So, I'm, I'm excited to get to know you. Maybe we can hang out. I'm not really big on hanging out. But, I don't know. Maybe I could make an exception for you? Uh, either way, I guess I'll see you around. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. LAMAU?! <laughs> what?! This could actually work. NICE! Look at that promise! Like, right there, look at that. 379 gold already. Very nice. Okay, competition day. Recommended competition. Health po- so it needs a health- a common health potion of three stars or higher. Then a comic fire tonic of three stars or higher. And then a mana potion of three stars or higher. Okay. Alright, the prize is 10,000. Okay. Alright. Alright.